Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. It's your boy Serrano and today we're going to do a quick recap of the Samsung event, but you probably saw it pop up on your feed. You probably saw hundreds of videos pop up like 10 minutes, actually like one minute into the the thing. So you probably like just started clicking on those videos and uh, I didn't check any of the videos and I'm about to check those out after this, but it started off pretty cool. They started talking about the S22 and um, that's like their entry level one. And um, they were talking about the photography and how when you take photos on that thing, that it's going to give you the 10 megapixel with the telephoto camera that goes up to three times and how in the daytime it's going to be able to map out your your hair. And um, let's say your, your hair is flying in the wind and all the follicles are all over the place. They're saying that um, the background imaging and your hair has like the super HDR effect. So no matter what, it's still gonna be able to capture the thin follicles of hair in midair that are floating around. So, and also if you're like sipping through a straw, through a cup, and let's say someone takes a picture of you, the straw in the middle from the cup, sometimes it blurs that out, but they're saying that that's not gonna happen because they have like a new um, technology which they've actually implemented on there. So. They said that um, that's gonna help out with the daytime photos as well as the nighttime photos. And you could also do like casting videos on here because it's gonna be good enough for like casting calls and also like, you know, um, crazy portraits. So they're gonna, they give you the portrait effect and obviously it's not gonna blur out your headphones anymore. It's got the uh, algorithm mapped out perfectly. So, you know, with that new feature, they're also going to give you implemented Snapchat, TikTok and Instagram implemented inside of the camera. So it's going to work seamlessly with the camera feature as well. So, you know, they have like a partnership where they have the in-app cameras with that social media, which is kind of cool. Like if you're the type of person who like watches a ton of movies and stuff like that, then they got the duo, um, the Google Duo live sharing feature, which is kind of crazy. I'm not sure if I've ever used the Duo app before. I kind of just use WhatsApp if I want to do a video chat with somebody, right? But, um, you know, they were talking about how it takes epic night photography as well as videos. And, um, you know, so you're not going to be disappointed because it's going to have the four nanometer processing chip. It's going to have the IP68 water resistance. It's also going to give you that aluminum um frame with the victus on there as well so there that that was for the 22 and the the, the 22 plus and then they also are going to give you the two times amulet with a huge 4500 battery with 256 um, gigabytes of internal storage and eight gigabytes of ram or you can get the 128 model right but starting out at 799 for the regular and then for the the plus it's going to be like a thousand right and then you could just keep going up depending on what 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 configuration you choose right but then this thing is going to be available on february 25th so you could put your pre-order in which is pretty much on the 9th or whatever but it's like the 10th right now when i'm doing this video but they come in cream violet sky blue and graphite as well so those are some pretty decent colors you could also put like different um skins on there they were showing like marvel simpsons all types of stuff like that uh, captain america right then they jumped into the camera immediately on the uh, S22 Ultra and they started talking about the pen, which is um, something that we've already seen before, right? But then they started talking about the uh, aluminum frame on that thing, like the steel, What I, I can't remember what they said, if it was aluminum or steel, but they started talking about how like that thing is gonna be sturdy. It's gonna feel like it's squared off a little bit in your hand but it's gonna implement the S Pen, which is like three times more accurate. But I had the Note 8 and honestly, that thing was super fast, but they're saying it's gonna be even quicker or whatever. So obviously like that's gonna be pretty crazy. And then they also said that the display is gonna be like two times AMOLED on that thing, which is crazy with the Victus on there. And then the, um, you know, the AMOLED 6.8 inch with the 120 Hertz on top of it. And then they were they were just touting, you know, the, the vision booster feature with this with 1750 nits. So the screen is going to be stupid bright. It's going to be crazy bright. You might, you know, what I'm saying it, you might hurt your eyes if you put it up to full brightness. So you may want to put that halfway down or whatever. But if you're looking to get this thing in your hand, you won't be, you know, you probably won't be like disappointed because it's got the most advanced 
display that they ever made, which they always say every single event. So, and the fastest chip ever made too. So, you know, 73 um, percentage of better performance, they said. And then they also um, did state that this thing was going to be, um, you know what I'm saying, good for heat of the efficiency as well as, um, you know, real solid um, when it came to like the dissipation of heat. So you don't have to worry about that. You also do get that double um, bonded stainless steel. That's what they said. It was the stainless steel. So it's not the aluminum, it's the steel. So that's something that's pretty crazy. Then they, they threw the steel sheet inside of it to make it more sturdy. And um, they were showing the bronze one. They kept talking about the bronze one with the S Pen. But obviously we see the S Pen before like in the Note series. So this is just an, a note. And because like they were losing money with making the S series and the Note series, they just combined it into the Note. So like they just, they're still calling it the, uh, you know what I'm saying? They're still calling it something different other than the Note, but it's just the Note um, just with like combined with the S series and stuff like that. Then they jumped into the photography and they started talking about night photography and they talked about like when the sun, when it's getting dark outside, right? And it starts to, before it gets pitch black, the sky is blue. And they were saying that that's the best time people like to take photos and whatnot. So basically they were saying is that the, the algorithm that they mapped was perfect for that, that type of scenario with the super clear lens. It does have like this anti-reflective nano coating on top of it, which will prevent like light glare when you're taking photos at nighttime and stuff. And then they also do have like a night portrait mode with an AI algorithm and object recognition on top of it. But they kept boosting up the night photography, which is pretty crazy and electronic image stabilization as well. So it, this thing will be 50% uh, wider when it comes to the 58% uh, wider when it comes to the correction angle. And then they also said that it has video digital image stabilization, which is four times more motion data than before and faster and also just more accurate when it comes to the analysis of the video that they're producing stable video in low light which is cool so they kept talking about and boosting this thing up which is um you know it's regular with um these type of companies they definitely like to talk about their newest technology that they implemented but they, the super night solution with 20 frames per 24 frames per second and hold on one second and then they were talking about the optical exposure for low light. So it's going to be really good for low light situations when you're taking photos at nighttime. And so they pretty much fine tuned the pro mode and you can also shoot in raw and you basically can master your photography with this guy. But obviously it's going to be a, a ton of money for the for the for the biggest model. Right. So if you wanted to get the biggest model, which is the uh, the 20, oh, that's 20. Two Ultra is going to be, you can even get this thing at 128 gigabytes of internal storage, which actually comes out to like $1,199, but they also sell it with a thousand gigabytes as well. So that's going to be like $1,599 for the biggest one. But let me know down below what you think about this thing. Um, and let me know what you think about the S22, S22 Plus and S22 Ultra. Do you think these things are pretty cool? But I definitely think it was they they started off good and then once all those videos popped up on my feed I just kind of wanted to watch those ones. So I'm I'm going to run through all those ones right now, jump into some Mike Fisher, then jump into some MK MKBHD and then I'll jump into like um the rest of the the, the guys, you know what I'm saying? But let me know what you guys think about this thing. Hopefully you guys did find this video helpful, informative, useful or in any way entertaining or anything like that. But if you did find it uh, possible hit make sure you subscribe be notified and you know stay locked in for more videos just like this i'm gonna get right back with you but um i'm gonna check you guys later peace